it's Robin here from the Strawberry Thief. Welcome. So today I'm going to talk about laying up a quilt. So now we have done a little blog post about how I used to lay up a quilt, which was crawling around all over the floor. But oh hell girl, have you seen the wrinkles? I'm getting old. I cannot do that anymore. So I then started sending it away to a really lovely friend of mine, Donna, who's been uh, tacking quilts for me, um, you know, but then I have to drop it off. I have to wait in line for it to be done, although she's super fast at doing it and I'm very grateful. Um, but then I have to wait for it to come back. And you know us quilters, we get an idea in our head, we want it done now and, and we don't want to wait. So. I found an amazing tutorial on how to lay up quilts uh, by Carolyn Friedlander and she does it like a super in-depth one. So please go and have a look at that one. That's what inspired me. So what's gonna follow this little blurb of me chat chat chatting is a little sped up version of me laying up my quilt. So of course I piece my backing and you can piece it as much or as little as you want to. I just chose one fabric I really liked the, the look of it, I just piece two together to make one complete backing. Um, and I laid this quilt up on a relatively small table. I think it's like 120 long by about 75, maybe 80 centimeters. Oh no, I did two tables. So like 120 by 120 uh, using table clamps. Um, and I pinned it. Uh, and once I pinned the entire quilt, it's like done in little sections. You'll see me running around very quickly doing all these things. Um, section by section, pinned it. My knees weren't sore, my back wasn't sore. Let me tell you, thank you, Carolyn Friedlander. You just changed my life besides your beautiful fabrics. Um, so that's what I did. So with no further ado, enjoy. everyone so I'll just hop straight into it with your two inch hexi once you've uh, laid it up with the backing batting and your beautiful two inch hexi top or one inch hexi top or whatever top you'd like to do um, I like to then go back and hand tack the entire quilt the reason I um, do that is because when you're uh, quilting I often find my threads get stuck on my pins. Um, so just a big tacking stitch and I just run it along. And I find that the time I spend doing this at the beginning, um, say, see, gets caught. And that's what happens when you're hand quilting. It always gets caught on these bloody little things. Okay. Um, and it just needs to be tacking stitches and I'll just um, run a tacking line through each of the center of these hexagons. So because the batting that I'm using is the Quilp Light batting that's available in our shop, um, it, it's a woven product. So the quilting doesn't have to be too dense and it makes for a very soft, drapey quilt. Look how soft and easy that drapes. 
Um, so I'll just go back and do all of that and then I will just remove the pins. Remember with Liberty Fabric, you'll see like a little pin prick there. And if you just run your nail over it, they disappear. So don't worry about that kind of thing. And I'll just go and remove all the pins. And then you'll have a beautiful flat surface to start hand quilting. And I'll show you how to do that in a moment. Thank you, bye.